Hi, kindergarten scientists. It's Mrs. Miller here again with lesson three today on how liquids flow in different ways. As we've learned, liquid is one form of matter. Can you name the other two forms of matter? See if you can. Ready, set, go. Solids and gases. That's right, and then liquids is another form of matter, and that's the form of matter that we'll be talking about today. Today, we will be learning about how liquids flow in different ways. So let's start by reading part of this book called Many Kinds of Matter, a look at solids, liquids, and gases. It's written by Jennifer Berthroyd. We'll just be reading this section of the book called Liquids. Liquids, oil, syrup, and water are liquids. That's right. Oil is one example of a liquid. Liquid matter does not hold its own shape. Liquids take the shape of their container. Water inside a swimming pool takes on the shape of the pool. Water in a square pool takes on a square shape. Liquids are not easy to compress. Liquid milk is a liquid. You couldn't fit the milk in the jug into the little into the little carton. Liquids flow. Liquid syrup spreads across pancakes. Can you think of some different liquids? Hmm. Let's think of some together. Water. Water is a liquid. Honey is a liquid. Milk is a liquid. How many more liquids can you name? I'm going to give you 20 seconds. See how many you can name across your fingers. Ready, set, go. Nice job, everyone. I got up to 10. How many were you able to name? I have a question for you. Are all liquids the same? Thumbs up or thumbs down? Ready, set, go. No, thumbs down, right? All liquids are not the same. Liquids can be different colors. They can also flow in different ways. Liquids don't have their own shape, but they do all flow. Take this waterfall, for instance. This waterfall is flowing over rocks very, very quickly. Then take a look at this syrup. The syrup is drizzling onto the pancakes. And do you think that it's drizzling as quickly as the waterfall is flowing? Certainly not, right? Some liquids flow faster than others. This is because they have different thicknesses or viscosities. Oh, that's a big grown-up fancy science word. Can you say that with me? Ready? Let's say it. Let's stretch it out slow. Viscosities. Okay, one more time, just a little bit faster. Viscosities. Okay, now say it all together. Scoop it up, scoop it up smoothly. Viscosities. Viscosities. Yes, that's right. The viscosity of a liquid tells us how thick or how thin that liquid is. Some liquids are thick, like ketchup. 
Can you think of some other liquids that are also thick, like ketchup? I'm going to give you 20 seconds. See how many you can come up with across your fingers. Ready, set, go. liquids were you able to come up with? I came up with five. Now some liquids are thin, like for instance tea. Can you think of some other liquids that are less viscous, which means that they're thin? I'll give you 20 seconds to think of some liquids that are thin. Ready, set, go. to come up with? I came up with seven. Now it's time for a liquid viscosity race. So if you are learning from home, you are welcome to participate in this race with me. You can use the same liquids that I have or you can use different liquids if you would like. If you're learning in school, this might be an activity that you'd like to do when you get home. Oh, and look at this. Here come our liquid contestants now. We have glue and dish soap and ketchup and mustard. All right, if you're learning from home and you would like to participate in this same activity from home, you can pause the video here, make sure that you take out these materials or some other liquids and get ready to join us. Now, Make a prediction. Which one do you think will win? Hmm, think about it. I'm making my prediction. I'm thinking about the viscosity of each of these liquids. Thinking about which one's the thickest, which one is the thinnest. Hmm, thinking ketchup is pretty thick and so is mustard, so I don't know if they have a good chance of winning. Maybe the glue or the dish soap could win? Hmm, what do you think? I'm going with the glue. Let's see if the glue wins. You pick which one you think will win. All right, it's time for each of our liquids to approach the, fit, the start line. So, let's see, I'm going to have my glue. First, I'll make a nice big blob of glue here. Okay, I want to try to make each, each blob that I use, I want to try to make it about even, about the same amount. Got my glue, got my dish soap. Okay. I've got my mustard here. My mustard. I've got my ketchup. And notice how I'm spreading them out so that none will touch. I don't want them crashing into each other. Let me add a little bit more glue so that these blobs are even. You know, I'm going to open it up. And 
All right, that's better. All right, it's time for our race. So think who, think of which one will win. Make your prediction, and you can root for that contestant. I'm rooting for the glue. So I'll go glue, glue, glue. Ready? If you're rooting for the, the soap, you'll say dish soap, dish soap, or mustard, or ketchup. Ready? Glue, 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 glue. Whoa, oh my goodness. This is not what I expected. The mustard already reached the bottom. But you know what? I'm not going to count that because that was kind of like the liquid. I should have shaken the mustard up. That was like the liquid from the uh, from the top of the mustard. Let's see. So far, oh, it does seem like right now glue is in the lead. Hmm. Will the dish soap catch up? Let's see. So, which one is the least viscous? Which one do we think is the least viscous? Well, the one that flows the fastest is the least viscous. So maybe the glue? But, oh my goodness, look, the dish soap is catching up. Maybe the dish soap is less viscous than the glue. I'm not sure. Which one is the most viscous? That means the thickest flows the slowest. Mm, looks like the mustard, right? The mustard is not moving very quickly at all. And then maybe the ketchup. Oh my goodness. The glue and the dish soap are neck and neck. Which one will come in first? Oh my goodness, I can't take the suspense. It looks like, oh, it looks like the dish soap won by just a hair, just a, just a little tiny bit. Wow, that race sure was exciting. Were you surprised at all by the results? Now it's time for our activity sheet. So. If you're learning from home, you'll find this in your Google Classroom. And if you're learning in school, your teacher will give it to you. The first page looks like this. It says, glue the liquids in order from fastest to slowest. And then on the next page, it says, cut and paste the liquids below to show the order from fastest to slowest. So you're going to cut out each picture, glue, soap, ketchup, and mustard. And then you'll paste them in their order from fastest to slowest. Once you are finished, you can come back here to watch a video to, and learn more about the states of matter. So once you're finished, if you have time, I want you to come back here. You're going to unpause this video and click the button in the top right hand corner make sure that you pause this video again when you're ready to do that click the button in the top right hand corner that blue button to learn more about the states of matter thank you for learning with me today kindergarten scientists have a wonderful day and keep on being curious bye bye